Uh, we're gonna give it a few minutes before uh, you know what we're doing here. Um, give me a maybe about thirty seconds. That we're gonna start talking about what's been going on and stuff like that because you know it's pretty pretty amazing. Like, my birthday, and I want to figure out like, what would be a good topic. You know, understanding that something like that. Let's go cut this music. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, guys. Sorry for the for, sorry for the interruption and everything else, but you know, understand that. Okay, let's let's go. Let's pull off this mic and everything so it doesn't oh, feedback. Funny. But you know, as you can see, as you can tell, I wanted to. I wanted to say thank you in in advance for um, all the people wishing me a happy birthday because today is my birthday and it's it's kind of it's kind of a a big deal because today is my 49th birthday and the topic was gonna be, you know, basically stop looking for shortcuts. You know what I mean? And it kind of like, it kind of resonated with me because one of, one of the things I did prior to, um, prior to doing, I, I took a lot of shortcuts in life because I wanted to do a lot of things. I wanted to do big things and it, you know, got messed up with the, with the wrong people. I became the wrong person in the community and all because I wanted to move my status, but I took shortcuts to doing it. Got involved with a lot of different things, a lot of bad things, a lot of things that uh, most people don't even come out alive from mentally, physically, even even. I mean, it's just it's a bad situation. And one of the, one of the things that I do that I was so proud to be a part of and becoming the face of a nonprofit called a Real Talk Program, that's uh, from um, from a retired probation office, federal probation officer, and we had a good meeting on Tuesday. In fact, learning to do. Learning to do things and give more in the community is what I've been doing for for the past what um, almost five years. And you know, it took me a little while to figure out what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do with my life, with the remaining part of my life, because you know, the big five O is coming up really fast. If I'm 49 right now, but I look 20, it it just it just gives me. Uh, a reasoning to do something more so I can leave a legacy for other people to remind to remember me by instead of being that that prick or that no good guy that everybody used to think I have sure I got to the ranks of what I used to do but it wasn't right you know what I mean and, you know and you know fulfilling my passion in helping others because I always had a passion to help others cuz I didn't want people to go through what I've been going through or went through so that I can guide, direct, and it, it's, it's helping me in my businesses, and it's helping me in my community, and it's helping me at my workplace. And overall, I'm kind of like balanced at, at, at my cycle right now, being the age I'm at, with the wisdom I have, to be able to share it with other people. You know, when, when you start moving on to this direction, whether it's you're in business, you're in your relationships, you're in, you know, you're going to have bumps and stumps and problems and troubles and everything else but one thing that's gonna gonna push you forward is when you have passion and determination everything else gets numb you know everything else doesn't doesn't exist because if you're looking at your end goal and you're looking you're looking towards that goal that you have like I was talking to one of my coworkers other they were like uh, some people they have plans and they're working their plan but everything doesn't matter because you're looking at the bigger picture of what it is that you want to do. When you have a plan that you want to be financially free, you want to have more time to spend with your family, you want to have more time to do the things you want to enjoy, but you don't have enough, you don't have the, the knowledge, the know-how. Guys, you have the files on your computer. You have every, you, you've been ahead of me for the past, I would say, over 20 years, and you've had a head start on me. 
Now, will it be frustrating? It's balancing your time to figure out what you're going to do in that, that t- same amount of time, 24 hours a day, in, in your day that you can utilize to either learn on Google, go to the seminars, go to the webinars, go to the library, read a book, order a book, buy it on Amazon and eBay. They're so cheap. I mean, you can, you can, there's a lot of things that people can do that I don't understand. You can talk about it. You can say you're about it. You can actually say, you can actually go into the motions. But the main thing that people don't understand is you have to finish what you set out to do. Now, going through that process, you might be on an island right now. You might be in a, in a lonely place. You might be doing something that you, that you just don't know where to start. Guys, all you got to do is put your foot, your first foot forward, climb up the steps one by one by one and figure out what you're going to do to get to that end goal. You know, once, once you have that passion and it numbs you for a lot of things, you can, I, there's, a, there's a lot of things you can possibly do. And it, it kind of like makes me wonder if I started the same time as you like this. All right, you want to keep doing your same old daily routine, waking up 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, hitting the snooze button. You know how much stuff I get done in three hours while you're sleeping? Now, like I said, it's not for everybody. And you might not have the same, the same drive, motivation, passion, because you're content, with your, you're content with your life. But that's okay, like I said. But if you want more, you got to wake up a little extra earlier. You got you to gotta actually propel yourself into something that you got going on like hey Raymond I see like Raymond Raymond my guy here he's an expiring actor film producer everything and he's doing his thing because we all have the same passion motivation drive like I was telling these guys Rain when you want something bad enough everything else goes numb you you move forward you don't care what's what's going to take it because that's what you're you you're you're doing and that's what you're actually going to be doing you know for the life of whatever you want to accomplish, whether it's an acting career, finding more financial freedom, learning a business, doing a business, being a motivational speaker, inspiring others, impacting the youth, doing things that will actually help you in the long run rather than being, being in a safe mode. You know, you know one of the, the main things I did when I, when I came out of prison was I went, sky, I went skydiving. Now, there's a lot of things I'm afraid of. I'm, I'm not afraid of. I can look down a barrel of a gun, no problem until you pull the trigger. I've done that in the past multiple times. But getting out of the airplane and actually knowing I'm going to jump and guessing if the parachute is going to open is going to be a different story. But that's the same for anything in life. You have to actually jump, go head first into something that might propel you. You know, the first time you jump, I'm not saying this is metaphorically, the parachute might not open. You're going to go out in some some troubles. You're going to run into some problems. You might might even tell yourself this is not for you. But if you keep pushing forward, a lot of the times people are going to figure out that, okay, you jumped once, you failed. So the hell what? You've learned from it. You gained wisdom. You You gained some emotional balance that you have going on right now. Guys, I was an emotional wreck, and to be able to sit here on my camera at my desk at one of my, you know, one of 2.5 houses that I have, and I'm proud to say that I've done that because nobody has done what I've done, basically, to propel myself and my future for the next, say, uh, 25, 30 years. I mean, my lifespan is getting a little shorter, but I want to leave a legacy for a lot of people so that they can remember me by doing things like this, by motivating you, to inspiring you, to say it's okay to jump. The parachute is going to open. The parachute, I'll hold the parachute for you. I'll do things for you that nobody else will do and I'll show you, guide you, whether it's on a YouTube channel, a live video like this on Facebook and do something that might prepare you to anything you want in life. Yeah, will you, will you be able to pick yourself back up? Sure, if you never give up. Now, that's a whole nother different story, but you know, you know, making making things, you know, is it's really hard because when I when I tell you this, I have two sets of friends, right? I, I have friends that in in your regular lifestyle, you work nine to five, you do nothing, you do the family thing, and and like I said, it's 
I'm not knocking that. Everybody in my other uh, my other set of friends, they want that subconsciously, subconsciously, but at the same time, they like to hustle. You know what I mean? Now, what do you give up in that sense? You don't have to give up nothing. If you can hustle, grind, motivate yourself, do something, do something that does something for you. You know, do I? I'm, am I the guy that goes out drinking at two o'clock in the morning, go clubbing? Hell no. I use my money and I leverage that money and I keep doing things and I keep jumping into other things that eventually, you know, like right now, you see me ramping up a lot of businesses going on and then one day, they're just going to run an automatic pilot. You know, do I, I'm the guy that goes, works in the morning, I wake up early in the morning, do things like this, I do some, some other stuff, I go to work like a regular person and I, I embrace everything that I've learned to the job. And I do come home and I work again. Yeah, they call me, Andrew calls me a workaholic. Does it matter? Because I'm looking at the end result. Every step I take forward, every, every ounce of knowledge I have, I can share with you so that you guys can propel yourself into whatever you want. Like I said before in the beginning, you know what I mean? When you start, when you're passionate about something and you don't give a freaking what you're going to do, you become numb to it all. But, you're looking at your end goal and what people like is they're gonna get attracted to you, what you're doing, how you are, how, what you're gonna be, what you'll be doing in the future. And they want, they, they, they want that for themselves, but they need a little guidance. It's the same like these kids I talked to at the Real Talk program. This past, this past week, I had, I had to talk to parents and I had about like six to eight parents crying in that, in that thing because I just tell it raw like it is. Because I don't want their kids going through what I've been through and it's same like for the other people. If I can use my experiences to help you do something more with your life, why wouldn't you take me up on my offer? You mean, why wouldn't you at least give me a thumbs up, a like, share, a comment to do something that's actually doing something for you and your family and ultimately it's gonna be better for you. You know, I hope, you, I hope you're watching this on the replay because it's about 12 minutes now and I just wanna keep it short. I'm gonna um, turn on this music right now, you know, and figure out if you want more information or you want to just figure out what I'm doing to become numb to that business aspect, numb to that emotional aspect to get to your goals, private message me, guys. This is on my live Facebook page. If you're watching the replay, please like, share, and comment. And guys, you know, I wanted to say, like, I made an announcement. Come get the book. I'm giving it away for free. Just cover shipping and handling. I mean, it doesn't matter. And if you do de decide to pay full price, half the proceeds go to the Real Talk program so that they can have, uh, I can put kids in activities so they don't have idle time. So it's a good cause and you can actually write it off if you want. I'll give you all the information. But guys, it's Aloha Friday. I do this every Friday. Maybe it can help you and your family. Please share it with somebody that you know. If you know me personally, you know the type of person I am. If you're getting to know me, get to know me a little better because... I can help a lot more ways than you think. All right, guys. This is Gordon Watt, author of Stop Chipping Over Pennies. And yes, it's up to you. And I'll leave you with this. All right, guys. Have a good one. It's a Friday. My pig over there. No work till Monday. All right, guys. <laughs>